time to crack open the sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. All right, Bulldog, I know it's uh, overreaction football Monday, but how about we start with the Magic, who, uh, look out, yeah. three-game win streak here, buddy. Three in a row, they swept the Toronto Raptors over the weekend, back-to-back wins. Last win came last night, 111-99, to the Franz getting it done, 23 hey. points for the Magic, uh, Paolo Bancaro, 20 points. The Magic have been playing a lot better since Markel Fultz. Uh, has been in the lineup playing point guard. They seem to be much more unselfish moving the basketball around. So, yeah, uh, the Magic haven't had a three-game winning streak since uh, February of 2021. So, been a while for the Magic. Uh, I have not watched uh, basketball. Well, any basketball, but the Magic, I've watched some of it, you know, because it's our team, and we're going to have them on the show later on today. But uh, I was watching them yesterday and or last night, and they look good, dude. Yeah, uh, and uh, the five-game homestand wraps up Wednesday against the Hawks. Let's see if they can keep it going on Wednesday. Cool. Um, NFL, wow. (laughs) The Buccaneers got absolutely clobbered by rookie Brock Purdy. Uh, quarterbacking the San Francisco 49ers, 35-7. to Brock Purdy throws two touchdowns, runs for another. He was the last player picked in this year's NFL draft, which means he was Mr. Irrelevant. He's not Mr. Irrelevant anymore because he is leading the 49ers. They beat the Dolphins last week. They thrashed the Buccaneers this week. Um, the Buccaneers only one, what are they one game up I think on the Carolina Panthers in the Atlanta Panthers Hall. got a huge win in yeah. Seattle you didn't see that one come no Sam Darnold's taking over his quarterback for the Panthers so they're rolling a little bit now I think they won have they won three of their last four I think so um, yeah yeah uh, Tua and the Dolphins go down to the L.A. Chargers twenty three to seventeen. Uh, back to life, back to reality. <laughs> to uh, his worst performance as an NFL quarterback, 10 of 28 for 145 yards. The Chargers defense held the Dolphins only 219 yards despite missing a bunch of starters on their defense. Um, the Dolphins had the league's top-ranked offense. I'm sorry, the Dolphins fattened up on a bunch of Humpty Dumpties during that five-game winning streak, and now they've lost two straight to good teams. I'm worried about Lynch's former team, the Miami Dolphins. Is, is, this, is, is this where I jump in and I go, you, you see, I've told you guys two is not the answer. Well, <laughs> hey, and, yeah, and well, Buffalo up overreact. next Saturday night. Yeah, we'll see what happens against Buffalo because they have lost two in a row, and Tua has not played well in the last two games against the 49ers last week and then against a, a depleted Chargers defense this week. You know who is playing well, though. My man Trevor Lawrence getting it done for the Jaguars. Throws for a career high, 368 yards, three touchdowns. The Jaguars routed the division uh, division leading Titans 36 to 22. That's their first victory in Nashville since 2013. Trevor Lawrence is playing really well right now. The Jaguars don't look now, but they're only two games behind the Titans with four games left in the division, and the Titans have lost three straight games. How about that? Hey, huh? Dude, their first win there in almost 10 years. That When you said that 2013, I was just like, oh, my God. They uh, they showed some of Rabel's uh, post-game news conference, and he was uh, searching for words. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Here's my overreaction. The Jags will catch the Titans and win the AFC South. How about that? Why Boom. not? Why not? What about uh, Lynch's Detroit Meatheads? The Lions getting it done over the Vikings. My God. What is going on with the Lions now? They won, what is it, five of six. They beat the Vikings 30, what was it, 34 to 23. Jared Goff throws for 330 yards and two touchdowns. And Dan Campbell, the Meathead, and his team getting it done. Could the Lions make the playoffs? Dude, I'm telling you that not only could they make the playoffs, they were talking yesterday that technically they're still alive to win the division. Now, of course, they would have to win out and the uh, the Vikings would have to lose the rest of their games, but you never know. And it is the NFL. 
And I'm telling you, if you watched Hard Knocks, this does not surprise you. These guys are buying into Campbell's program. Again, this is a guy who has a total man crush talking right now. <laughs> not me. Uh, 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 Pat over there. Yeah, because they have the same size head. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Hot roast XL. <laughs> By the way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the Lions. It doesn't matter if they make the playoffs. Nobody's beating the Eagles. Nobody's oh, beating man. the Eagles in the NFC. My God, they blow out the Giants, forty-eight to twenty-two. Jalen Hurts throws for two touchdowns, runs for another. He's the clear-cut MVP favorite. First quarterback in NFL history to rush for at least ten touchdowns in consecutive seasons. The Eagles are rolling right now, absolutely rolling. Cowboys barely uh, eke yeah. out a victory over the Texans. They had to drive down the field 98 yards in the final seconds to win the game 27-23. to You mentioned the Bills. They beat the Jets yesterday. How about uh, the, the touchdown sh- Allen ran in? Did you? Oh, wow. Dude, yeah. Pat, did you oh, see the, him the, helicopter? The, the flip, what yeah. a stud, man. He's a stud. God. Yeah. Uh, your boy Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs had to survive the Broncos 34-28. to Mahomes, three interceptions of that game but in the that- Broncos season. That one right. pass he threw made up for everything. Oh, that was an incredible pass. Pat, you know the yeah. pass. Yep. Holy yep. cow. Yeah, the Broncos season got a lot worse. Well, I don't know if it got worse or better because Russell Wilson uh, was injured yesterday, and he's not playing very well. Hey, uh, did, did you uh, watch the Army-Navy game on Saturday? I did not watch the Army Navy game, but Navy fired their coach after losing the Army and o- was it the second overtime? Yeah, yeah, double overtime. Um, it, the it, game as usual was kind of a snooze fest till it got in the fourth quarter because it was all running. That's all they do is run the ball. Yeah. And if you like that, you were in heaven. But if not, yeah, it, it ends up going into overtime for the first time ever in the Army Navy. And then you know Army pulls it out with the the field goal in the second overtime. Yeah, and then you find out yesterday they, they fired their longest tenured coach. Can yeah, yeah. I, how do you say his? Last name now uh, to uh, Maloa. Coach Ken. Yeah, Coach Ken. Yeah. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you say it. Coach Ken got fired after 15 years and being the winningest coach in Navy history. Caleb Williams, the USC quarterback, he wins the Heisman Trophy. He was at the top of my ballot. Um, uh, Stetson Bennett was number two on my ballot, and I threw in a local guy, Jordan Travis of Florida State. At number three, but Caleb William wins it going away. Max Duggan of TCU second. Um, who was third? Uh, C.J. Stroud was third, and then Stetson Bennett was fourth. So that was your Heisman Trophy balloting. What else? Had some deaths over the weekend. Sadly, Paul Silas, NBA great player and coach, he passes away. U.S. soccer journalist Grant Wall, uh, who's been covering soccer for a long time, he 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 dies while covering a World Cup match between Argentina and Netherlands. Uh, he was 49 years old, Oof. Um, uh, and for, uh, former UCF tight end uh, passed away over the weekend. Jalen Hescock, only 25. Jake years Jake old. Hescock. Yeah, what did I say, Jalen? Yeah. J- yeah, Jake Hescock passes away at age 25. He suffered a cardiac arrest while jogging Thursday in Boston. So. Uh, also, Mississippi State football coach Mike Leach was hospitalized Sunday, airlifted to a hospital uh, in Jackson, Mississippi, where there's not many details about what's going on with him. But they have named their defensive coordinator as the interim coach, so it must be pretty serious. All right. And uh, Monday Night Football, Patriots and Cardinals. That'll wrap up uh, this week's Action Week 14 as we uh, come down the home stretch of the NFL regular season. Let's do it. Mike, the Bulldog Bianchi. you find him on FM 96.9 The Game. You'll find him writing in the Orlando Sentinel, and you'll hear him barking here at the end of the sports page on JRR. Oh, oh. This is the Lynch and Taco Show on JRR.